And for your Christmas Eve, we've got this little update on the 9950X3D and the 9900X3D from WCCF Tech comes this report that they're going to share the same clock speed as the vanilla versions of those CPUs, the non-X3D variants. Uh, the article says um, the 9950X3D and the 9900X3D will not be getting nerfed in their clock speeds and will deliver similar synthetic benchmark performance as the uh, uh, Ryzen 9950X. Uh, AMD's common 3D vCache X3D CPUs are seemingly too powerful compared to their predecessors. Not only did we witness the excellent synthetic and gaming performance of the 9800X3D, but apparently their upcoming higher-end SKUs will deliver even better synthetic performance while increasing the gaming cap capabilities significantly. The AMD Ryzen 9 9900X uh, is soon getting an X3D version and so will the 9900X, if you are aware of the X3D v, 3D vCache chip design, you would know that typically these processors bring lower base clocks than the original, but than the regular versions and their regular designs. But the 9000X3D is different since the SRAM die is situated below the CCD rather than on top. As we all reported earlier, constantly here that uh, they flipped uh, the flipped the script to an extent. So this allows proper cooling, which resulted in a higher base clock speed for the 9800X3D. Uh, however, the 9800X3D still has a 300 megahertz boost clock lower than the 9700X, even though the latter isn't exactly a non-X3D counterpart. As per the information provided by the leaker XHL, the 9950X3D apparently won't get cut at, in the clocks co clock core speeds, which means the same base and boost clock as the 9950X. That means 4.3 and 5.7 gigahertz out of the box, which would offer excellent performance in apps and games. As per the leaker says, the 9950X CPU would deliver equivalent single and multi-threaded performance to the non-X3D chip in Cinebench R23, Apart from similar productivity performance, the X3D chip should offer a strong gaming performance uplift over the 9950X. That wasn't the case on some of the previous chips, as the X3D chips lag behind their uh, non-X3D additions noticeably in productivity due to compromised clocks and limited overclocking capability. Apart from the performance, it's reported that there won't be a 3D cache on both CCDs, and that's that's the bummer we talked about earlier in a previous video. But it will be similar to its predecessors, uh, a 3D cache only on a single CCD, and that's why <laughs> that's why the motherboards, all the motherboards, uh, AM5, have the uh, X3D Turbo Mode option in the BIOS, so that they can. It's basically it's an easy, easy uh, toggle switch to, to disable SMT and the non-CCD, uh, non-cached CCD. Basically, effectively turning your 9950 uh, X3D and your 9900 X3D into a 9800 X3D, pretty much. Um, so uh, yeah, this is going to uh, probably turn up. Uh, during CES 2025 in late January. So, yeah, that's the latest on the 9950X3D and the 9900X3D. They're going to keep the same core clouts. And if you uh, like what you uh, see and hear on Tagonzo Media, like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Merry Christmas to you all. Have a good one.